Alrighty, here is the video review for the pop up pizza playset Anchovy Alley from Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 figure sold separately, 18 inches tall oh, subway scene. I'm sick, can you tell? It's from Playmates, according to this teeny little logo in the corner. Um, it's got pizza, turtles, pizza fresh, pe pe hot pizza, pizza fresh, pizza, pizza tasty. You can make that into a wrap. Hot pizza, pizza fresh, pizza, pizza tasty. Pizza, pizza hot, fresh, pizza, pizza tasty. Actually, that sounds more like a cannibal chat. Human flesh, human flesh, tasty, tasty, human flesh. Anyway, on to the box itself. Uh, why, are we, why are we focusing on the box? There's all the stuff that it can do illustrated using various figures and some Photoshop effects because the pizzas, one, the pizzas do not come out of this thing at a 45 degree downward angle into Shredder's chest. Shredder does not spark or glow uh, unless you're on some really, really good stuff. Uh, I'm just on uh, Sudafed, so. Um, so yeah, I do like the expression on Fish Face's face. He's like, what is this sewer lid doing? Anyway, here's all the stuff I can do. You open it up, and you will find the product inside. Uh, standard box, except on this little label over here, you can see some of the figures, um, including like Baxter and Snakeweed, some of the upcoming figures here on the side of the box. Inside the packaging itself, you get, uh, the instructions on how to operate the playset, as well as where to put all the, the decals. And look at that, you get a sheet of decals, which, in, as you can clearly see, have already been appliqued. You also get pamphlet of upcoming toys. And it's pretty cool, because you get, uh, here's the ooze figures. I saw all these at, I've seen all this stuff now. I haven't picked up the ooze stuff. I almost picked these guys up to repaint them as Ghostbusters. I probably will at some point. Um, the playset, the pizza playset we're about to play with. Apparently the, their turtle com is coming, the sword, the role play stuff. Uh, the ooze stuff we said, uh, the, the bumper buggies which are out, the go-karts that combine into form one giant one. Um, and then of course new figures, the flingers over here, the talkers over here, which we've seen. I've seen these figures, at, these flickers at toy, flingers at Toys R Us. Um, and then of course the, here's, here's all the figures that are out with the addition of Baxter Stockman and Snakeweed, who will be coming out shortly. I'm assuming, considering everything else in this booklet is out or starting to show up at most places these days. And then inside, you get the actual pizza playset itself. Um, it has it, it comes wrapped in some plastic, which is easily removed. It also comes with these in the corners to support it in the package. I thought maybe these serve some functions, but they were uh, they were nice enough to actually put this is not a toy. Hey, P.I., you idiot, don't play with these. Um, although you could totally make them skateboard ramps for your Ninja Turtles uh, if you were doing that. And they have skateboards. So onto the set itself. Uh, again, it's a pizza box. I don't know how many pizza places actually have the official Ninja Turtles sponsorship with their logo up here, but it looks like a generic pizza box. Chances are if you've eaten at a pizza place that is not like Domino's or Pizza Hut, you've seen a box with this kind of red checkerboard Italian restaurant uh, logo on it. You can see a sewer lid in the bottom, but we'll get into that. Um, so yeah, it's just a pizza box. There's a, bit, a big thick plastic pizza box. It's about as thick as a regular pizza box, although not as square. Um, a little bit somewhere between a small and a personal pan pizza pizza box, roughly. Um, actually, maybe more, maybe just slightly bigger than a personal pan pizza box. It's not huge this way. But to open it up, you just open this up, lift this front flap up, take this up, and here you can see the uh, the pizza store up here. Um, right here, you can go ahead and take these out. Um, and it's nice that they have storage for everything included in it. This is the pizza launcher right here. The pizzas uh, have little clip two go in each one, um, and you just and when you put them back, they they, they pop out. You want to just pull them from the top. Uh, when they pop out, you want, actually want to slide them in, these two pieces on the bottom. Slide them in like that, and then push the top down uh, is the easiest way to get them to store. Otherwise, the clip on the, on the two bottom pieces here will stick on the pizza. We just pop out the pizzas, pop out the pizza thrower over here. Um, you continue flipping this all the way around. It's going to, on the back, it snaps into place. Let's see if we can show this off here. Ah, come here. You see there's some clips here that snap this up on top and then the whole bottom part 
uh, you take the gray piece and you pull it out like that, and then the whole sewer comes out. Now, <laughs> you can see it's actually, it, un it unfolds into a, as the box said, 18 inch tall little diorama playset. Great for if you want the sewer layer, but uh, don't have the space for it in your home. You can uh, get this, it folds up into that little box, but you can tuck away. So you can play a full, rich Ninja Turtles play experience, um, and then just fold it away, stick it away, if you don't have the money or the space for the big giant uh, lair playset, which is huge. It's a lot of fun, but huge. Um, we'll focus on a lot, of, and the thing is, like, even though it's small, and even though it already has the gimmick of flipping out, it has a lot of really cool little gimmicks, uh, like play gimmicks going into it. It's a really fun little playset, and we'll go into some of those. One's got the ladders that flip out, and you can, see, so you can climb up the uh, the sewer areas. But it's the first thing right here. It's got this little bar right here. You can take one of your Ninja Turtles figures. Let's do Mikey. Donatello is a little bit too long. You have to kind of fiddle with Donatello to make him happen. But you can clip him right here onto this uh, this bar, and the bar is specifically smaller than the diameter of their weapons and their hands so they can swing freely. Because what you can do, you can see there's a sewer door over here. Um, I, I only brought my Ninja Turtles in, so bear with me because I don't have, uh, I didn't bring all the enemies that I have because mostly because Kira, my daughter, has appropriated them. Niblet's got them. But if you have like a bad guy standing here in front of the sewer door, uh, you can lift the, the turtle up and, ah, well, okay, that didn't work so well, but uh, maybe if I put his feet out in front of him. Um, there we go. There's little, these little sewer doors open very easily. So you can blow. Ah, I didn't quite blow them away, but you can blow, blow somebody back through the sewer doors. Ah, like that. Um, that kind of effect. Or if you just want to kick the sewer doors open, if you don't want to have a figure there, you can just uh, put a, come on, kick the sewer doors open like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, again, a cheap, a manual gimmick, but just a neat little thing that they, you know, make it, make it more than just a little static playset here. Um, the bottom of the sewer, like I said, there's different levels. You can see, like, here's the sewer grate, um, the pizza place up top, which we'll get to. But even down here in the sewer, you can see there's, like, a molded wheel and some rats running around. It looks like a mucky sewer down here. So, uh, some nice detail as well. Um, another thing, if you have a... Villain coming to attack, you can stop him with this trick sewer lid. There's a little lever right here that, oh, will flip. That's what you saw. That's what was happening to Fishface. He was trying to climb up here, and, uh, oh, the sewer lid, sewer lid stopped him. So there, that's another little just physical gimmick. Very simple lever mechanism. Again, a lot of fun. Um, the pizza thrower can plug into three different places here on the set. It is here. Uh, there's a plug-in port, ah, plug-in port right down here, and a plug-in port right up here. Um, and this can fit into any one of them. You just plug it in like this. For the sake of ease of uh, per demonstration purposes, we'll plug it in down here, but again, you can also plug it in right up here as well. And basically how this works is this is it's basically a flick fire. You can see the, how that mechanism works. And we'll just shoot some pieces at Mikey because he's more than willing to have a pizza flung at him. So once you, you you pop it out, you flip it open, and you just drop a little pizza disc in here, and then you just flick the uh, flick that, and it'll launch the pizza. To, with varying degrees of power and accuracy, depending on how it goes in. If you pull it back too far, sometimes this can slide forward a little bit, so you won't get the full uh, launching power if it doesn't hit it as hard as if it drops straight down into the thing, as you just saw. Um, you can stack, you can stack two in there easily. You can see how, the, like, just the way the mechanism comes forward into here, lifts it up a little bit. Um, you can get three. The way the ridge is, you can get three to stay. Although you still will see this side sticks up a little bit more than this side, which is now flush with the front. Uh, adding the fourth pizza, it comes with four pizza things, it makes it a little unstable. You can still do it once you start launching them; they will feed properly. But um, you can't just set them up with those just sitting in there because that top one will have a tendency to slide around. So yeah, and there's the pizza launcher. Uh, and then you come up a little bit. There's a ladder. There's a little roadway 
it's supposed to be like a subway station. So you're kind of like, here's the subway, here's the pizza place above the subway station. Here are the subway tunnels, the subway platform that leads down to the sewer, which is how they get home, maybe through this door or whatever. But so there's a little subway platform up here. And again, nothing, nothing else on this platform aside from this bar. And again, you can plug the pizza platform or pizza thrower thing up onto that part of the platform as well. And then up top, you've got the pizza restaurant, Antonio's Pizzarama, with a menu on the door, and, and the doors do open. And again, another play-specific feature that they've built into this is the street, site, street light rotates, and it, is, and it is a street light. I'll try to get up there. You can see the... It, it doesn't stay out, though. It is on a spring in, in this box right here. It's on, like, a little geared spring. But again, just like uh, the little bit down here, if you take, say, uh, and you can pop these back a little bit and close them, uh, they snap into place for storage. You can take Donnie here, and you can attach Donnie to uh, the handles on this. And again, we'll demonstrate with Leo here, but say you had a foot soldier or something coming out of this pizza restaurant, or just hanging out in front of the pizza restaurant, you can pull this back right here. Oh, and have uh, one of your turtles knock them through the doors. And since there is nothing behind it, down through the subway sewer. And there's some structural renovations going on at Antonio's Pizzarama. So, yeah, all in all. Um, and then when you're done, you just take this off. You said you just, just unpeg everything. Take this. And you just take this lower half. And close. You want to close the doors and just snap them shut up here on the pizza place. They snap in at the top. And then you just take this whole assembly, t uh, pick it up right here from the sewer, just lift it up right here in the middle on the hinge, and it folds right up. Right here, down here on the bottom, you take the pizza thrower. You want to have it so the thrower part faces, faces the gray part. Fold that down. Snap it right into place there. This will be loose, but it won't matter when it's... I mean, this, this locks into place. This flips a little bit, but it's okay because... You're not going to lose it. Uh, the pizzas, again, you just kind of slide them in, the top, in from the top and then push them, push them back into place. Two on each side. One, two, three, and four. And then you just take it, flip the lid closed, un un unhook it from the back, snap it closed. And there is a tiny little peg right here on the flap that pegs into a uh, clip right here. Close it up and then snap that flap closed. Squeeze around the edges to make sure, and it's back as a pizza box. Really neat, really convenient. Um, like I said, great if you if you want a play set without have without wanting to shell out for the giant, or you don't have the space for the giant uh, three and a half foot tall layer play set. A lot of fun, easy to carry around. To, you know, you want to take it over to your friend's house uh, if, if if you've got younger kids. Um, you know, great for traveling. You grab that and a Ninja Turtle and maybe a bad guy and you're, you've got all kinds of fun uh, right here in this little box. This is how you do a playset, guys. Um, if you're watching and you've got a toy line that might uh, be conducive to playsets, this is how you do it. Ninja Turtles Pizza Box Playset. Thematic because it's a pizza box um, with a lot of little fun little things that are like, like, I mean, all the gimmicks inside of here are very simple. They're like a lever, a uh, uh, Gravity base, you know, lever, gravity, uh, a, a tiny spring, um, or, or some combination thereof, um, makes for a lot of a lot of fun in this small little fold away package. It's re I really can't recommend it enough. Uh, the Anchovy Alley pop up pizza playset from Playmates for the TMNT twenty twelve line from Nickelodeon. Get it seriously, pick it up. It's great. I think it's it's twenty seven ninety nine at Toys R Us. Um, I think. Target had it online, but it's sold out. But I think at regular retailers, it's going to be nineteen ninety nine. So, uh, and, and for nineteen ninety nine, get it. I mean, like it's for for thirty bucks, you can get a turtle and a playset, and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, there you go, Anchovy Alley.